Hey, what's going on guys? Vega here from Serpent X Special Forces, and today this is more of a follow-up to my previous video where I talked about the Claymore Miner uh, version 14 beta and how it implemented uh, the capability or allowed the capability to optimize memory straps or memory timings on your AMD graphics cards. And I was really impressed that Claymore was able to do that. Now obviously you have to be using this miner, uh, miner and mining you know, Ethereum. Uh, so it won't help you out with other algorithms such, such as uh, Kryptonite, v, you know, uh, V8 and, and Heavy and all that Saber, all that good stuff. But just that capability alone, um, I think, is a very good move. Why? Well, for OGs and veteran miners like yourself, you and myself, uh, or you and I, for proper English uh, speaking people, we can mod the BIOS, we can optimize the straps and and get better hash rate. But for a newbie miner, maybe not so much. Now, Bisbee, Trip, and Carter did make a guide, I believe, on how to do that and did a great job uh, explaining it. Uh, but if you're a newbie miner and you're a little bit timid by it, and you don't want to risk, uh, you know, you mod your BIOS or uh, you know play around with the the memory timings and and hurt something or brick your card, which I I haven't had that experience. Um, the Claymore Miner gives you the opportunity to utilize it and and still get an improved hash rate because I believe uh, uh, Carter again from Bitspeed Trippin uh, tested out you know the built-in straps versus uh, a modded BIOS and they're about relatively the same I think the mod modded BIOS was getting a little bit more um, but you have to go check out his channel and, and feed for that however there's been a couple of revisions since 14 so there's 14 14.1, 14.2, 14.3. Now, 14.3, I believe, and correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, is the one that optimized it or allowed this capability, uh, the strap command, so to speak, for NVIDIA GPUs. Uh, and since then, it's been 14.4, 14.5. Now, realistically, I'm not going to show you the full, you know, how to, step by step, stuff like that. If you want that information, I would challenge you to go check out um, Red Panda Mining. Uh, he has the step-by-step -step guide, uh, talks about it, uh, his experience with it, as well as in the description, has everything you need. Obviously, um, show him some love, uh, check out his video, throw it a like, and you should be up and running with your Claymore Miner on your NVIDIA GPUs. And I believe the process, at least the setup process, is exactly the same for the AMD GPUs. But I wanted to showcase my actual performance. So, when... On my mining rig, I have some 1070s, uh, 1060, 980 Ti, which my 980 Ti would not mine Ethereum whatsoever. I have an RTX 2080 and a 1660 Ti. The 980 Ti is irrelevant. That that wasn't in the, included in this testing. But the 1070s, 1060, 1660 Ti, and the RTX 2080 were. The, this program, or Ethereum, uh, excuse me, the Claymore miner, will only work for certain cards, I believe. Um, and I could be wrong, so correct me in the comments, but the 1050 Ti, the 1066 gig, not the 3 gig, and the 1070 is what I know so far. I'm not sure about the 1080, um, and I know for a fact it doesn't work on the RTX 2080 and the 1660 Ti. At least it didn't work for me. Uh, if you get it working, let me know in the comments as well. But as far as performance, uh, my, my system, that particular system, was getting around 179 mega hash, about 180. So we can see the 1070s pulling around 30, 31 mega hashes. Uh, the 1660 Ti, I, I probably could optimize that a little bit better, but that guy's memory is a little bit finicky. So around 26, 27 mega hashes. Um, and that's important to note. Even though the 1660 Ti cannot apply to strap or the Claymore Miner can't apply to strap, keep, in, keep that number in your head. Uh, again, another 1070 around 30, 31 mega hashes. Another 1070. And then a 1060. This is the one that I saw the most benefit, I guess you could say. It's around 19.3 mega hashes, and the RTX 2080 was around 39.9 mega hashes. Now, this is even with different testing and stuff like that, I pretty much got the same results. Uh, however, when I enabled the strap, I went from an average uh, total system speed of around 179 to around 195, which is decent. So the 1070s went up from 30, about 30 mega hashes up to 34. And the 1660 Ti went up about 1.5 mega hashes from around, uh, let's just say one mega hash, so around 20, 26 uh, to almost 28 mega hashes um, if we count the, the points and decimals. So again, the 1070, even though 
this uh, GPU 3 1070 was acting stupid. Um, I, th I believe that was because I was remoted in and that's a system that's rendering to my display. Uh, we, we could see about 4 mega hash increase on the 1070s. On a 1060 though, look at that. We went up from 19 to around 25.5. That's a pretty decent gain on 1066 gig. And even the RTX 2080, even though the strap could not apply, did show a decent improvement. So about 1.5 mega hashes as well. So here's what the system told me. So straps were applied to 0, 2, 3, 4. Look at what 0, 2, 3, and 4 is. So 0, 1070, 2, 1070, 3, 1070, 4, 1060. So it did not apply to the RTX 2080 and it did not apply to the 1660 Ti. Um, However, in further testing, testing the rig that we are currently on, and by the way, this is the power draw that I got. So 672 around, eight, excuse me, 600, 870 watts for those cards. So um, there, there's your power draw. But the, the 1080 Ti, which is the system we are currently on, um, without the, without, because there's something I, I'll get to here in a minute. So without the ETH enlargement pill, as you can see, it's in the bottom of my screen. Um, there it is. Uh, normal hash rate for 1080 Ti without the, the pill is 35.6. But with the strap enabled, I went up to around 40 mega hashes or so. Test number two, you can see that it's enabled. So GPU zero strap is applied successfully. So it did apply the strap to the 1080 Ti. So it does work for the 1080 Ti. But here's the problem. 35 to 40 mega hashes at the 5 mega hash increase for the 1080 Ti, but we know we can get more with the ETH enlargement pill. Well, when I applied it and the strap, I got this. Artifact system lockup, not good, multiple times. I'm still testing, I'm still tuning. Uh, probably, I posted it on uh, the forum, trying to get some information, see if anybody else is experiencing it. Uh, but I, uh, you know, check back the comments to see if I have an update on that. So we're, we're using two programs here and I knew this was going to happen or I had an, an inclination. You're using two programs to optimize your memory timings. So they're, they're conflicting with each other, uh, which causes issues. So I found the best way to utilize, uh, 14.5 Claymore minor 14.5 and the ETH enlargement pill is to not enable the strap on the 10 ATI. However, you're going to have to run, if your 1080 Ti is in the same system as your 1070s and 1060s, you're going to have to run two separate miners using the, the dash DI command and parentheses and then the individual numbers that each GPU is assigned to. Because if you enable the strap command and you don't have the dash DI, then it's going to apply the strap to all cards it can possibly apply to, which may cause issues, especially if you run the, the pill on that 1080 Ti. But I found without running... Uh, the strap command and just running the ETH enlargement pill, my system, which normally, by the way, gets around 49. It's not like everybody else who gets 51 mega hashes, around 49.5 mega hashes. That when using the strap command and no pill, I went up almost to 53 mega hashes. So that would give you a, an, an extra little bit there just by using Claymore Minor 14.5 alone, which is substantial, which is what, not substantial, but it's, it's a decent gain. So that's, that's improvements across the board, even for cards that aren't even utilizing the strap command. I won't have any AMD data for you yet, but I will be coming back in the future. So keep an eye on the channel, subscribe for future updates. But Bits Be Trippin', from my understanding, should be doing a live stream soon. And if you're catching this video today, it'd probably be up on his YouTube channel at a later date and time. But he did ask if anybody wanted to do an overview on the newest Claymore 14.5. And between Red Panda, uh, Mining, uh, Nefarious Technology, and myself and a number of other people in the community, we've all been testing out uh, you know, the Claymore revisions, and we're seeing pretty decent gains. Uh, nothing to you know, blow away the Radeon 7, but enough that you should seriously think about updating your miner and utilizing the strap commands if it can be applied to your cards. Um, I definitely think it's it's a huge benefit for AMD cards um, because you're not having to mod the BIOS anymore. Uh, you can just uh, download the latest miner, have to add a couple parameters to your batch commands, reboot a couple, t uh, reboot a, t a time or two, and then you're good to go. Again, if you want the step-by-step -step guide, check out Red Panda Mining. Besides that, 
I just wanted to share my performance data with you guys. Um, as I said, check back for the AMD. I, I only have a few cards, but I'm just going to do testing on the RX 590. Um, and I will be looking to do some testing on the future Radeon cards coming out whenever it comes out in the future. So like, share, subscribe, comment below. Let me know what your thoughts are. Let me know if you want me to test anything uh, specific, any parameters, batch commands, stuff like that. Um, and I'll get back to you as soon as I'm available. I appreciate your time, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.